Took it. Your song has been on the countdown for. I just drew by the way how long. I got yeah. to a point. I'm gonna be very honest. I was like, God damn. It's still there. It's is it still here? But anyway, <laughs> yes. Season <laughs> is actually. Jana, it was at number seven. Yeah. However, you have new music. I, tell I us, do. tell us, I how's do. the new sound? Are you it's, still strapping? I don't even. All do day, all day. What do I call it? The new <laughs> music is just the move. Like it's shoe kid season. It's just happening. Mm-hmm. And it's really being received in a good way. The the new music is trap, trap. I, I don't know if I can claim trap yet. Okay. But you know I'm with the trap movement. That my right. people. All but right. I just I, let, I do I do music. Yours I is do, just trap. Yeah, I trap and I call my genre mm-hmm. urban hip hop. I do okay. urban hip hop. So, you know, the new EP is just a short project. I called it preseason ticket. I gave it a basketball theme because the project that i'm really trying to build you guys up for is shoe kid season right yeah so this ep is just to shake things up a little bit piss off a few rappers Mm -hmm. (laughs) which ones in specific Uh, all of them man (laughs) all of the rappers (laughs) huh yeah let's just shake the game up a little bit all right and uh, congratulations first of all and produced by sonic produced by sonic man that's my man Nelson Tambo, man, that's my blood from, uh, he's actually from Diani originally. Right. Yeah, we met uh, through online interactions. He produces from mm-hmm. for another, he used to produce, or I met him through production from someone else, Ordinary Bingwa, also from Diani. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah, they, they're usually in and out of Nairobi, so Sonic just hit me up. We've been talking for a long time. Actually, the beats on this project are not like the latest stuff he had. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about it for so long, and we decided let's, let's get to it. And we're in the right space. We're in the right, uh, you know, mind frame, and we had the time. What was the inspiration behind this one? The inspiration behind this is I really want to try and make Shoe Kid season as perfect as it can be mm-hmm. in terms of like the experience the the listeners and the fans will get. I've dropped several projects before, mm-hmm. and I feel like I want to grow. Exactly. I'm not saying what I did was whack, but like <laughs> I want to up it up a notch. I want to try do better. I want to try. Right. And what's uh, life without growth? Like exactly, so, you would you never feel challenged. You never feel motivated. You could do like jichonyanya. Like you are just oh yeah. Anyway, uh, but anyone wants to listen to this EP, mm-hmm. what do you want them to remember? Like what what impact do you want to have to your fans listening to this music? To you, to this EP especially. First of all, when I did this EP, I, me and Sonic insisted that it's not going to be a type of thing where we go get our beats i come to the studio with something written mm-hmm. i want we brainstormed in studio i wrote yes but like i was consulting i was like yo sonic is this dope should i say it like this should i change it right some songs we scrapped and started afresh so what i wanted people to to, to feel apart from the songs itself one growth what mm-hmm. we've just spoken about two i really tried to stick to a theme okay it's really short but like i was trying to bring that back where people are just naming stuff it's like you have 12 songs and now it's just boom you're naming it and you're putting it mm-hmm. out there and when we listen to the whole project we're not getting that right or i don't get that i really like listening to projects so what i wanted people to understand also like guys are like yo shoe kid falling off or whatever so you know i had to address a bunch of the, <laughs> a bunch, a bunch of, those, of the haters yeah up. you know